Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, appreciate you all tuning in. As you can see, we got some more uh, <laughs> blaster boxes to open. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are getting sick of these blaster box videos, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting ready to to really get into to one of these collector's boxes. Uh, I got these laid out here like that because, well, I want to know what you guys want me to rip next. Uh, do you want me to stick with uh, We Hate the 80s and go to the Collector? Or do you want me to go back to Battle of the Bands and open one of those Collectors? I haven't opened one of those yet, I don't believe. Um, and actually, I just picked up one of these at a local shop. Uh, they were having a buy one item, get the second at 50% off. Um, their regular price was a little expensive, but with that sale going on, brought it right down to the right price. So I figured help out the local shop and grab a collector box and uh, another local place that I pick up all my card goods they typically have cart uh, garbage pail kids and unfortunately they're no longer gonna have those 2014 series 2 collectors these bad boys here so those are the last two of those that I'll probably be able to get from them but yeah, I'm just wondering what do you guys want? What do you guys want me to open next? I got some older series too. I got um, a whole bunch of these brand new series two rack uh, value packs. Can open those. I got a whole lot of these all new series two, which actually. This is an eBay purchase. Uh, it's supposed to be all sealed packs, but this pack was already open. So let's just check out this uh, whole new series two here. So we got a Bustin, uh, Bustin Dustin, the foil card. It's foil 10B. The bottom of it's kind of all jacked up. Anybody know about these? You know the the bottoms always kind of, or one of the sides always came kind of, you know, wrinkly or jacked up and just messed up. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's kind of beat up. Waxed Zach. I actually really like this art here. Jeremy Jeremy on the Game Boy. Taylor Tubby. Let's make sure there wasn't something stuck to that. And we have Rest Stop Russ. Couldn't hold it. <laughs> And then uh, this is a scratch and stink. It's Klutzy Kevin. It's got uh, S4B up in the top right there. Uh, check out these backs too. This is back when they still did uh, puzzles. So we got puzzle backs. Very cool. But yeah, so I want to know what do you guys what do you guys think I should open next? Um, we're going to be finishing up these, these gross bears, uh, blaster boxes. We just got to, we got to get them done. I still got, uh, Battle of the Bands blaster boxes as well that I could even be opening. But, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you, what do you want to do? We, what do you want me to do next? I know some people have been saying do collector box, so that's definitely up in the air there. And actually, I'm pretty sure that's going to end up happening most likely anyways, but, as I said, we need to finish these blasters. Let me get this show on the road, so to say, right? I get a kick out of you, the butt bear. By the way, there's a rest of them by my slippers. So we are getting there. Place that I actually got that Battle of the Bands box is like a D&D place. They really do like uh, collectible card games more than uh, collectible cards. A lot of magic, uh, paint sets, and stuff like that for people that like to paint their own figures. 
things like that. But yeah, a buddy of mine likes to frequent there that also is into GPK's bit. He actually pulled this first one uh, the other day. But uh, he goes there for his collectible card game needs and I went with them. I asked them about Garbage Pail Kids uh, one time. They said they don't carry them, but they could. Went in another time with my buddy. Um, and uh, I saw two collector's boxes. One was open. As I said, they wanted kind of a lot per pack. But uh, they put on this sale and it's worth purchasing. Uh, I know some targets still have some random packs. So uh, if you've been opening anything, definitely comment below with what you've been opening. So I notice that this lighting isn't the best. I'll probably work on that for one of these next videos, right? is trying to uh, finally sprung, I'd say, I guess. Um, finally able to get outside and do a little work around the house and enjoy the weather. Let's mess around with Trash Bear. I love purchase, like grab it's off eBay card Gary's and, uh, let's see uh, what is it like 2015 series 2 I think don't quote me on that um, those are, uh, the inserts from that one D&D &D gold numbered 16 of 50 But, uh, yeah, grab that off eBay. Pretty good price. I think it was like a dollar card in the end, which isn't bad. Uh, that's really an insert set that I don't think I would ever be able to complete. Because those are uh, quite expensive if you uh, go to buy them. Or, you know, if you can even find them. They're not, I wouldn't say that. I guess they're not quite expensive, but they're expensive. Rate I've been going. Think about going back to the collector's boxes only, though. But spending money because probably still haven't uh, completed a green uh, booger, booger border, green border, whatever you want to call them. Variation set, and then uh, the inserts uh, haven't been the, the greatest with these uh, blasters. You get like two inserts. I figure I buy two collector boxes and then uh, versus a case of blasters. Uh, I guess it's something I have to think of in the next series. By the way, next series horror. It's supposed to be a horror series. That should be interesting. Uh, some of the shape sketches are tombstones. Gonna be a little bit longer video because we've got one more box to do. But yeah, shape tombstone sketch cards. Kind of different. Um, I've been more doing a lot of work around the house, 
trying to make more room for the collection on the GPKs. You've got nothing to hide. Bear, bear. He is bear. I think that one was one that I needed. Whee! But yeah, I've been doing a lot of stuff around the house, trying to make more room for the collections and, and just get more organized. And I'll tell you, if you can work with lumber, wood, um, it's definitely a good, good skill to, to have. If you've got the right tools and space, I built some shelves. You know, it cost me like eighty dollars in two by fours, but uh, because I got uh, the plywood for free. But yeah, like eighty dollars got some really nice shelves, really heavy duty. I can basically stand and dance on them. And I weigh about two hundred pounds, about uh, five foot eleven. But yeah, absolutely burly. If you know it when you work with wood. As I said, awesome skill to have. Very useful. You can make some awesome stuff. This desk I have here is made out of really nice wood. It's antique. But it's a, it's a junky desk. Way better than my last one, though. And I could probably stand on this one. And most of the stuff you buy at the store today, you could stand on it when you first build it. breath on it with uh, you know, 10 years of use, 5 years of use even. Anyways, that's the end of this video. We made a mess and now I'm going to clean it up. So I appreciate you all watching. Went a little long. Comment down below with what you've been up to, what you'd like me to do next. As I said, we got one, at least one more video with uh, blaster boxes. Oh, I do <laughs> apologize for all the blaster box videos. Uh, for We Hate the 80s, but we are nearing the end. It's the last three gross bears that are coming up, and uh, then, I don't know, we got Prime Slime blaster boxes that we could get into. Uh, lots of different stuff. But yeah, comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, comment, comment, comment again. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.